The Calamity Tram is in motion. It's time for another randomizer episode. Uh, we're not even going to wear that beeping as we're going to some other beeping, which is yeah, a little bit of a little bit of a concern. I'm also noticing at this point that I don't have any red ammo, so uh, I guess we're doing this with grenades. They're doing they're going you know, it's fine. You guys can go away. Um, you guys can go away as well. Um, it's probably fine. Yeah, we, we rescued that situation, didn't we? Can we even... Yeah, welcome welcome to how things go when you have a times 200 um, tech multiplier and also 4% pollution dispersion. And then I'm also noticing that I don't actually have all the belt to put this back together either. So that's super cool. Do I have... Let's try and at least rebuild some of it. I mean, we're not super concerned about this. I mean, let's... Let's put some of this back together and then have a bit of a look at the base. Um, yeah, because we're not super concerned about whether or not the power grid runs out because we've got a lot of solar now, which is nice. Um, we are at the point where the steam engines aren't even running during the day, which is where we need to be. Um, the electric mining drill pollution is also coming down significantly because we're socketing a bunch of modules um yeah overall we've got yeah more biters attacking here yeah we've got we've got more solar in places we've got a couple of decent walls the thing is we're getting attacked here and i think the situation is we're polluting biters over here and they're attacking this way and going around the outside of this lake that we still don't have radar coverage for, so that's a bit of an issue. Um, other things we added in between was this little bit of... Oh, they're getting used now. I put this down and then biters just weren't pathing here and I was disappointed having set all that up and, and then they weren't using it. But they were also turning up over here, yeah, and coming around these walls, getting in the way of the train tracks. Uh, red ammo balls just kind of protecting the flamethrowers. I, we kind of need to put that one back. It died. Never mind. And, yeah, things... Things generally, you know, kind of fine, mostly okay. Got a lot of walls there now. Um, how far through the game are we? We're like 20, 21 and a half hours-ish, I guess. And then over, over the last hour, have we got science production? Where is red science production? To the... We've kind of got red science production somewhat close to the 900 science permanent that we kind of wanted based on this thing. Ah, that's... Yeah, this is one of the, the issues we're having right now. We're doing the landmines research. We have ticked through a couple of useful bits of research. We've got the cliff explosives. Um, haven't looked at how to make them yet, but we have done the cliff explosives tech. We've got the sulfur. We've got the explosives. Probably should have done landmines first because I think we're going to need them soon. Uh, let's actually do the prod mod before the other lab research thing and yeah we're only we're only putting half a belt of military science into this at the moment which is why it's not all running uh we're gonna continue to take beeping noises oh well i think the plan is yeah we're gonna have to get all of these miners mostly back in place which the mall will need the smelting will need uh Mostly I'm just doing this now to get this stuff out of my inventory so I can go and pick up more belt because we also don't have the belt to do this. Uh, we're gonna worry, no, we're not gonna worry about that stuff yet. Okay. And then I think the next thing we do, which is gonna be pretty important, is some kind of flame pillbox over here to kind of intercept, is it maybe even, is this a base? Maybe even if that's a base, to intercept whatever is arriving in this direction, which is pretty important, yeah, because we've lost, we've lost a couple of radars over here as well. Oh, well, yeah, there's still coal on the belt. It's fine. That miner is, you know, doing whatever. Did we, we did pick up some coal. I don't really want that much coal. Uh, we can just keep making stuff. It's fine. And yeah, then at some point, actually, can we, yeah, we're in the middle of putting a bunch of solar down. Oh, we, we could put mining drills, socket things into mining drills as well. Um, programmable speakers, lots of firearms and a wall. I like that we've got a thing that will use up ammunition i was wondering about how we do that because we've got kind of a lot of it how do we make this a lot of different stuff we're not making these at all yet and they're going to be a bit of a pain i might not even worry about it yet in fact we might be handcrafting some of it um these guys taking damage because it's a spitter no because they actually got through the wall okay so other things we kind of need to deal with um yeah other things we do kind of need to deal with 
where is i was trying to okay i guess we're going to have a box here um to not have the shotgun which we kind of don't need um i did notice that with the number of things that needed yeah, I need to get more trains in um with the number of things that are getting crafted from pistols uh, i was picking up pistols a lot and didn't need them so that's that's why we now have a whole lot of flamethrowers uh, partly just to save my inventory from the number of pistols that that we had and also partly for you know being able to carry around more flamethrower ammo i guess is this mostly repaired that's going to be most of them and we've got enough of these guys uh is this even what this was like? I don't remember. Uh, no, it wasn't, was it? It needs to prioritize to the other side. Um, okay, whatever. We'll just do that. It's fine. Uh, yep. Get these things out of my inventory. Probably should have put them in the ones that were more likely to be used. Oh, well, we just want them all moduled at this point anyway. Uh, this one is maybe not moduled. We have 11 more. Yeah, we're definitely getting through having a lot of modules, which is good. The And then another thing that I kind of didn't notice until much later, although it's still helpful, is the mining drill electrical usage is also one of the big users of our power grid. So all these modules, not only going to help, that it's mostly about the direct pollution, but it's also a lot about... It's not really much about saving minor minor electricity but we will save a bunch of minor electricity as well which will be nice um okay the thing i was going to do is yeah still losing walls we should probably go and visit that spot that had the walls i should probably get more walls we've got we don't have any underground pipe um actually that's not what i wanted to do yet i guess we're going to leave this over here and try to remember that we wanted to have a bunch of stuff there. The thing I was going to do is wander over to this military science buffer, because I'm pretty sure we have a lot of military science. We do have a chunk of military science, and we're just going to hand feed this into the labs. Um, gun turrets destroyed? Probably. Because we're currently limited by one belt of this getting in, and it's not, it's not making it all the way into the build, and we could, I mean, we could also just red belt that. Red belting it probably would have been the sensible move, to be honest. Um, especially as we have the red belt. But we're just going to manually feed all of this in. Uh, yeah, that's that's fine. We've now got a bunch of extra military science. How much does this actually need? 20k? Sure, okay. It's probably helpful. Okay. Um, is that flamethrowers... Flamethrowers damaged? Flamethrowers destroyed? Oh, these gun turrets! Yeah, we kind of needed those gun turrets. Those were pretty important. Okay. Um, do we have... We don't really have gun turrets on us. We've got a couple of bullets. We need... We really need the red bullets, but we don't have those at the small. Give me these. You have... Yeah, 68 is fine. Uh, we did want... Did we want more belt? We wanted more walls, but we left the solar over by the walls. We also don't have... We also don't have a train station that's super conveniently close. We've only got this one over here. Um, so yeah, so the the other base that we just pushed, the other base that we just pushed, the other attack that we just defended, um, is is likely to be still pathing it again because we said we were going to put a flame turret here, and then didn't. Uh, these guys, yeah, maybe we should actually go to. Okay, um, is there is there a train actually coming? Are we being yeah, this is just the... Oh, the train over there isn't actually... Because the thing we don't have, and the thing that's still pretty bad, is... Yeah, this train station has no signal in front of it, which means that if there is ever... Oh, there's a train over here waiting to get in? We are just gonna take this. It could go badly wrong. Oh no, we left the... the that's the train we left. That's why things are kind of blocked. Um, so we're going to go up here, we're going to nudge the sky. 
Um, and then we should be able to first go to the other mall to get some red bullets. And also some maybe some flamethrower turrets. Where did they get through? They got through here? Okay. Um, in that case, we're going to go to here first. Just to fix up that little bit of wall. These guys? Yeah, sure. And then how did we... We needed programmable speakers. Bullets we are super fine for. We have a lot of bullets. These guys need just more walls, so... Okay, maybe not that many walls, because we would like to fill in the holes rather than... Yeah, okay, this is... Pretty grim, pretty normal grim things, oh well. Uh, we're not going to bother repairing these. I think we're still going to try to get to bots, but also bots are still a bit away. Uh, yeah, go to the small, because that's where we've got bullets. We've also got more walls there. We've also got stuff like solar there. How do we make programmable speakers? Burner inserters and transport belts. I don't know that we have anything that turns into burner inserters yet. Okay, get a bunch of that. Give me all of these. Yeah, give me... Where's the red ammo? The red ammo is over here. We'll get some of that, but not all of it. We've got flamethrowers. We also need underground pipe. Do we have underground pipe here? I'm not sure we do. I think we only have underground pipe. What's this? Oh, this is another box of just, like, useful stuff that was around. Um, sure. Okay, let's get back to this position where we were losing stuff. I wonder if that's a radar artifact or whether that's more dudes. Um, yeah, because we still want to take all of... No, we just got to put some gun turrets here, don't we? And then, because the other issue is... The oil pillbox we want over here, we've kind of got to drag the oil around the lake because there's no crude source here yet. Um, so that's all very exciting. Uh, yeah, maybe, because like I also kind of want... Maybe they just ran out of ammo, maybe that was a problem. Um, I kind of also want... Uh, and also pipes. Yeah, I kind of also want to get the landmines and then also that's probably fine. Um, get the landmines and then also go and kill these bases rather than like do a full, like we could. I was wondering about like do we do another pillbox here to catch things coming around this side? I think the answer is is that my train? It is my train. Um, it's fine. I think the answer to that is we get the landmines, we go and kill all of these dudes, we figure out what's happening with this terrain, and maybe we even use this oil to do... Is it just like this section here looks like it could end up one of the shorter walls we have available, and that would also enclose a pile of copper, but does mean we need to get... Um, that's easy to go down, isn't it? It does mean that we need to get a large number of landmines to go and push those things, especially as we also don't have the armor that we would like. Um, yeah, then the cliff explosives. Yeah, we've looked at programmable speakers because we needed these in order to make the cliff explosives, although the cliff explosive is also... Yeah, wall and ammo is stuff that's going to be super easy. The, the thing that's really going to make... And I think we do want a large number of cliff explosives. Uh, and I think we also want to drag this train belt a little bit further around. Uh, so we're going to go back to manual. Because we do have a lot of cliffs that would like to get out of the way. For a number of reasons. Uh, do we want to take this a little bit close to the wall? I think we probably do. What are we going to hit? We're not going to hit anything. It doesn't matter. In that case, we definitely want to take this closer to the wall just so we have more building space later. Uh, yeah, not like that. Good job. Yeah, so how how many how many thousand ticks was this? Two thousand. Okay, fine. So if we are doing everything at it was like eight hundred and fifty. It wasn't quite nine hundred, was it? That's if we hand wave a thousand science per minute for math, 
and then add a bit on later because we're not quite doing that much then we're maybe looking at 10 minutes to get landmines finished maybe is the hope uh, i should have also been checking when i was looking at all of this as to whether or not any of these sections needed repairs and the answer is kind of yeah we're down to spots where there's only one section of wall left um so and it's you know the places where those are noises that are still things that are exploding so that's super nice um okay let's pull this in here let's grab uh where's my train you come here I think we could cut this a little bit out of the video because it's going to be a thing we've already seen. I think I'm going to go build a little pillbox over here, uh, maybe check down here to, to reinforce some of those walls. Um, if anything interesting happens on the way, like we get attacked, then we'll come back for that. Otherwise, we'll just build a pillbox. He said, standing behind a tree. Jumping forward some time, we're now over here. Uh, we've built this little kind of flamethrower turret thing. Uh, we've got more flamethrowers in kind of the corners where we're expecting more combat. Things are still beeping. Oh, these, um, yeah, that's actually a beeping we need to go and deal with. That's actually, um, yeah, I guess we're just doing this for the moment and then also leaving some stuff over here. Um, although at this point we also don't even have any grenades with us because we use the grenades to clear out the trees and we also ran out of rail um, because we yeah we got like this far um, so I think we're just going to run over here because this one is at least connected to the place we need to go uh, so that's all pretty grim and we are losing still a lot of belts still a lot of mining drills a couple of solar panels which of those am I actually sad about um maybe we're sad about the solar panels although we still do have a lot more solar panels i mean all of these are just really good trades for the biters um we're here so we're going to do that um uh, like it's it's yeah they've also picked a spot that is um actually if there's there's a couple of boxes in there that if the biters get these boxes there's quite a lot of material in there um that that they would do well to deprive me of but also we are just losing a lot of solar panels now aren't we yeah maybe we do need to i mean we're kind of close to getting the landmines tech but it's not particularly great and then also still not having a car kind of hurts and then i guess we have a couple of bullets at this point but we're going to be mostly doing this with flamethrowers and i guess at some point putting all of this stuff back and also there's a lot of spitters here and a lot of these are pretty big so could be a problem. We're kind of fine. Oh, they're all over the place now. Yeah, other other directions, because we did also lose a couple of these solar panels before, and I think it was this mining that was attracting the biters. Um, someone's here shooting something, I can't tell what. Okay, there's, there's a guy. We're just going to leave that turret there. Um, so those guys also look like they're pathing in from the northwest, which is the other location that we kind of wanted to kill. Um, what are you doing? Oh, you're trying to path through the middle, and then you took the easy version through the cliffs. Okay, um, sure. We don't even have... We don't have solar panels at the moment. We probably still got more than we need. Uh, we've got... Did they cut the power lines or something? I thought I had more than that. Um, oh, this is this whole section here is not actually on the grid. This is an entirely different section. Yeah, there's most of the solar panels are on a completely separate grid, which at this point doesn't connect, which is hilarious. So I guess we're going to go do that real fast. Um, maybe this belt is also cut? Yeah, the belt is cut here. We need to put these mining drills back. Um, I think I deficiency module those as well, so that's a pretty good strike from the biters. Uh, they've got another 9% to go, as in, once we get the landmines, we're just going to be murdering a bunch of dudes. That's, that's what we're going to do next, even though we don't know how to make them yet. Actually, we're far enough through the research that I don't mind looking at the recipe. Medium electric pole and concrete. We already have medium electric poles because we needed those or the locomotives concrete have we even automated concrete yet as in have we even researched concrete 
uh where where concrete concrete needs okay so um yeah things things that are the same problem we're going to have again we can't actually get our medium we actually can't get our landmines yet because we need to get um, advanced material processing and then concrete all of which are uh, concrete is you know going to be a bit of an issue and then we need to finish off the landmines um so that's that's going to be yeah we are not going to be able to do the landmine combat immediately are we we are in in the position that we thought we would be able to rush that in and we cannot but this should at least get all of the grid yeah 3.9 thousand tons of power grid okay so that's all nice and somewhat fixed oh i did have yeah let's do this as well we're here um i kind of put this other thing in to get another iron train in here um so we should remember that we didn't don't actually have all the rail that we need i guess we're how many is that two bits of rail we're not really using this rail down here um and then where is yeah you just keep bringing stuff um, yeah, this is going to be another iron ore train for the moment. Maybe we turn this into just gear wheels later, because most of this iron is getting turned into gear wheels for the science. Um, a lot of these are run out there, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, that's also the reason why we're looking at bringing more trains in now. Uh, but this should be a copy of this train station. Yes, with train limit of two each whatever i think we just add more trains is the thing we want to do there um and then we're putting iron on this belt and then we've got to figure out how to get uh we could even do the same trick here couldn't we we could just put a splitter like here and worry i mean is it time to fully reorganize this iron mining maybe are we going to no um yeah we kind of just want to if we're not getting landmines yet, because all of that is a little bit sad, uh, what do we... Oh, have we... We could upgrade all these guys. So that's going to get us more pipes out. That's going to get us a large number of green chips that we probably don't need because we're still only using half a belt of that. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. Uh, yeah, let's go and put that other copper mining back. I guess we need to be in the train to do that and we've got gun turrets bullets are over there anyway uh we left the train down here cool um yeah i think this is going to be another little gap between stuff um, i'm just going to go put that copper money back unless i get attacked in which case we might see that as well so yeah so we're back again uh, i think we need kind of a plan to deal with those biters because they attacked this spot again and destroyed a bunch of stuff that we just put back which is kind of unfortunate and are still attacking us so i think we need to yeah ignore ignore this section and presume it's going to be fine it's still got you know multiple layers of wall that's great um i think we need to go and deal with uh, this one is probably just going to be too big probably this space at least though to just try and push some of it back and um, the thing is we were going to do it with landmines we don't have landmines so i mean we have the tech but we don't have the ability to actually build them because it depends on concrete which we are still working towards so instead of doing that oh yeah we also figured out how to make burner inserters and it turns out they're pretty straightforward it's um pipe and gear wheels which we should have around the place um i think we're definitely going to fully automate cliff explosives later i just also wanted some cliff explosives now and we had the stuff sitting around and my handcrafting isn't doing anything so now it is it's fine uh, we want to want to wander back to this mall because uh yeah whatever the tools we need to do any kind of combat include more gun turrets which we currently don't have and more grenades which we're certainly going to need i think the flamethrower is going to be big um they seem to deal with groups of dudes pretty well but also using those to push into um, i also wanted radars we do not currently have radars i'm um, using those using my personal flamethrower to push into nests seems like it's going to be kind of sketch so you also have a bunch of repair packs give me yeah we've got a bunch of gun turrets okay this is 
And then 400 rail? Do I have rail over here at all? I don't think I do. I think it's just in the other base. Okay, sure. Um, yeah. Now I think we're going to attempt to move some of those biters out of our clouds reasonably persuasively. Did I just also spot that all of these efficiency modules could be in this copper mining? Um, we definitely want to be getting all our mining moduled because it's just cheaper in every way and now that the big biters are out pollution means that we're just going to get more big biters but yeah we also just need more iron mining on trains that's a thing we're not doing yet either oh well um yeah some of these things you know whatever Sure, let's pretend that all of this is fine and attempt to stabilize this kind of situation, which is still destroying gun turrets in here as well. Um, can we? Where does the power grid go? It actually would want to come off the end of the solar, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, so we don't want to do... Uh, maybe we do take it from... I'm trying to figure out where we take power from, and I think it's going to be over here by this oil. Okay, let's just get towards where we're losing stuff and try and... Okay, that that is, you know, still undesirable, but, you know, whatever. Okay. Take some power with us as we just drive through that little section of carnage, and then over here probably where we want to have another little rail intersection looking thing um and this will yeah let us let us take power with us um you guys don't share that i mean probably i could probably i could do it with just chain signals in the middle and have one fewer rail segment overall but whatever um, yeah, we want to deal with, make our way over to where those biters are, introduce ourselves with violence, um, take, take the power now, take the power later, go vertically, because we might later want to build through this space, hopefully. Uh, we've got cliff, yeah, we've got the cliff explosives now, we could be doing with explosives -y stuff. So there's definitely some things we wanted to address there. Um, yeah, one or two bits of beeping, I think we're just completely fine with. Uh, we don't really want to bulldoze that tree. Or at least this forest. We're, we're going to bulldoze some of these things. Do I have... Yeah, we probably have enough space for the number of cliff explosives that we're trying to craft. Uh, and then I guess we're just also taking this wood... Sure, this is worthwhile, isn't it? Is this, is this a point at which we just run towards the dudes? Uh, 80 gun turrets? Maybe we're also just dropping some of these gun turrets as bait. Because some of these worms are also going to be large in ways that are an issue. Like, th this is, I think, as far as we go here. And then we just want to get... Medium, medium worms, medium worms. I think we're in the pleasant situation of all of this expansion happening um, before before the evolution ticked off. Okay, so. Yeah, that's kind of sketchy. I don't think we're going to be able to put push bases much larger than that without um, having to put a lot more effort in. Which is a shame, because we still kind of have to deal... Do we have to deal with that base? Where... Yeah, because, I mean, we might be able to leverage this cliff, but we also might not be able to leverage that cliff. We could also just... Dis now we have the cliff explosives, we could destroy that cliff to be able to get through um these also i mean no they're definitely going to be 
They're definitely going to be medium worms in there, aren't there? This is too far away from spawn to be... Which side do we even attack that from? Is it going to be easier from down here? Um, it's going to be too far away from spawn to be able to, to just have small worms. But we also do still have 80 turrets and also flamethrowers. And yeah, we definitely want to attack through here. We don't want to get stuck in all of that stuff. But it's fine because we have cliff explosives now. Um, so we can just go wherever we want. Um, these guys we need to deal with. Um, so they are dealt with. Uh, give me some number of these bullets back. Yeah, this is, this is a defensive position that's further away than we need. Yeah, we can just put these guys over here. And then, hopefully, be able to work our way in and kill some of these nests. But it's still going to be... Okay, let's just... We don't really mind losing turrets. we got a lot of turrets. Um, the red ammo is still slightly more expensive, though. Uh, it's kind of working. Thing, things that are really great to say just before you um, get killed, so we're also kind of worried about that. Okay, I think maybe we are okay. I think we have pushed a base without landmines that we were kind of... Hoping that we will be pushing with landmines. Um, but oh well, it kind of worked. And then I think this would actually be a good place for a little bunker. Um, I mean, it would also be good to explore all, all of this stuff. And see exactly where we can put a decent flamethrower wall. But we also don't have the car yet. So, yes, yeah, it's kind of things, things that... Did we get all of them? Yes. Things that tech multiplier runs often do. Yeah, this is this is why we were coming down here to, to deal with exactly these sorts of biters. Um, yeah, things that tech multiplier runs often have to deal with. Um, having having huge pollution clouds and not really having the tech to deal with them properly. Does everyone have... Everyone's got 50. I don't think I want to leave you with 50. I think we only want to leave you with some amount. Um, these are mostly going to be scanning radars. And then... Uh, I guess we get the rail through here or something? Uh, yeah, and we're just going to flex on having all of these cliff explosives at this point. Uh, sure. Do we actually have... Do we have... I mean, we don't have the fuel for this thing, but never mind. Do we have enough rail to reconnect this to the other rail that we had elsewhere? Because we also might not. All of that could go pretty badly wrong. Uh, but does it turn here? Is there another cliff? Oh, no, it wants to go straight through the forest and then turn after the forest. And there may also be, I mean... A, trees, and then B, another little nook of cliffs it looked like. Yeah, those guys, but I think we can squeeze past them and be fine. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna get all those trees out of the way. Then, yeah, here, here is about where it wanted to turn. Uh, get in the car, get in the train, get out of the train because we actually need to cut the tree. Um, yeah, we're going to have a little interlude while I reconnect this to the other rail line. Hopefully we have enough. Yeah, we have enough. Um, yeah, we'll figure out something to do next. It'll be fine. What are we losing? We're not even losing. It's fine. 
yeah so we've we've put this little radar thing up here we've reconnected this to the grid uh we are close to being able to work on concrete which is the thing that we wanted to be able to get landmines um steel furnace is also pretty good scanning radar starting to do some work and this looks like it will be a like it could turn out to be a pretty nice little place that we could just cut off with some flamethrowers um i did spot down here Ah, uh, yeah, that wasn't really the easiest way to get to it, was it? Um, all of these coal miners are still pushing out a lot of coal. We're using it for a bunch of things. Um, they don't have any efficiency modules, and I have efficiency modules. So now we can efficiency module all of this coal mining, which is going to be a good time. That's going to be, you know, basically a whole belt of mining that is cut down to 20% worth of a belt of mining of pollution. And then the next thing that I wanted to do which is the thing we talked about recently anyway, was turn this station around with which we needed to get all these cliffs out the way so that we could have a decent station pattern here. So that's what we're going to do now because the beeping is fine. Uh, did I also... Yeah, if I got some more... Because we handcrafted a bunch more loudspeakers by hand as well. If I had some more yellow ammo, hey, here's some yellow ammo I'm not going to need. Um, let's actually get more than that. Yeah, we can have a bunch more cliff explosives. Um, for it, yeah, we can still have a bunch more cliff explosives. Um, yeah, still haven't automated those programmable speakers. We'll want to do that at some point. Also, just want to get all of these things out the way. So that we can have some decent nut train stations to bring in all the things we're going to need which might be ingredients for blue science it also might just straight up be blue science all these gonna need to go as well all these stones are gonna need to go um yeah because we still perpetually need that but don't know how to make it yet and then also let's um oh yeah remember that we didn't actually put radars down here uh cool great things we're enjoying a lot it's still going to be roughly this kind of train station layout i guess actually we can we can kind of figure this out are we going to have is this going to be here in the way that it currently is i think it's so and so if that's the exit then here are the train stations that can just arrive like so and then There is where the stations want to be, so those fast inserters are in the correct place. And this thing here can be kind of a station pattern. And then this is the spacing that we're using for the style of station, uh, which we can flip because it doesn't have signals in it. And now we've got, yeah, this is, this is going to be the next station extension plan for ways to get more important sciences and stuff in here which i don't think i've got to bother building now um i think we're going to figure out that we have enough space for it if we have enough space for it because the thing is i still want two wagons each here so we've got the two locomotives and then four four cargo wagons and then three four yeah this is going to leave me enough space space for the size of train we want and then how much is one, two, three, four, five yeah this bit here is a little bit in the way and um, we can can we upgrade we can also we can just get rid of a bunch of these yeah we can we can make all of this smaller now and then also not need so much of it later. Like, we already don't need the number of inserters... Yeah, the, the number of inserters on underground pipe because we're already not successfully using all of them. Oh, well. Uh, we need to upgrade these guys to fast inserters because assembler speed... Okay, so that's also going to create for us the space that we need. This is now 5, 6, so... Uh, change the signal here. We can actually move that forwards a little, can't we? Okay. 
can we move it to there aggressive questions um yes that's going to be large enough and then we upgrade these to actually these are already just miss um okay so that's going to be the size of train station that we want and now we have a way to get trains in here uh to eventually unpack other stuff we want for blue science which we don't know about yet um let's go and automate some stuff let's go and automate because we now know how to make steel furnaces and it's inserters and red ammo both of which we have at the secondary mall so i think we just go and put a bunch of those together and then also let's um remember we realized that we don't have this other stuff let's handcraft a bunch more repair packs um and then a bunch more pipes to get rid of the stone from our inventory head over to this mall and figure out where we can put steel furnaces which need inserters and piercing rounds and then also um, eventually cliff explosives, but also programmable speakers, which need a surprising array of stuff. I, I never really build these, so I don't have a feel for how expensive they normally are or should be. Um, however, uh, here's wall, here's bullets, um, we just need the programmable speakers. So that is a plan that I like. Um, can we just go... How would we be getting this out? If we... Would we be running it through here? I think that's going to be how that works. Sure. This wasn't what we wanted to automate, but it's what we are going to automate. Um, yeah, we don't need we don't need a whole lot of walls for that at all, so it's kind of fine. Um, and then we wanted uh, these furnaces out of a lot of inserters and also red ammo. And we have this ammo here. We have these inserters here because we are making them for... What are we even making them for? Oh, the red ammo themselves needs these inserters. That's kind of super easy. And then you needed the poles. Okay. Um, are we at a point? I think we're at a point where we don't need... I don't think we need two assemblers on flamethrowers. I think we can open one of these chests up to, say, 150 flamethrowers, change this to something else, and get all of the stuff out of my inventory... Um, and then can we uh, and the answer to that is no because we just broke the we can put it back there and there and then Uh, can you now make me steel furnaces? Yes. So we can have, I don't know, 100 steel furnaces. Decent start. Uh, we are going to be limited by the rate at which we make the inserters. Because we've only got these two guys making us inserters. And we are limited by plate, so we can fix that. And yeah, that's... What do we actually need? We need only one cable. We need a lot of plate. Um, okay, yeah, we, fi we fixed that with plate. That's fine. Um, we now still have our flamethrower automation happening. Um, yeah, we gave away a bunch of stuff we didn't really care about. It's fine. We still also have a lot of flamethrowers. I want some of the flamethrowers because we always are going to continue to need flamethrowers. And then you need inserters and you are just grabbing inserters at with the rate we are making inserters and then not having insert you don't need inserters so that's fine and um, it's just the red ammo that needed the inserters uh okay cool so now we've got steel furnaces that's nice and um, we also wanted programmable speakers somehow we've got to get chips in here uh repair packs we have here burner inserters were made out of pipe 
and gear wheels pipe we have here. Uh, programmable speakers were also made out of transport belt, which we do not have here at all, but it's made out of coal and... But actually, do we need that much stuff? I don't think we do. Like, these are four programmable speakers that need one transport belt each. So I reckon we can just hand carry a bunch of that stuff. Like, a stack of belt will get us 25 cliff explosives, and that's going to be a large chunk of what we need. So, where can we... And here is a place that we can also just have more gear wheels that can... Take gear wheels here, put gear wheels there. Um, do you, you kind of needed poles in a different place. We're going to use a di different size poles just so that I don't have to have as many poles. And then a programmable speaker here. Yeah. This is a thing that nearly works. Um, is that true? That's not true. This is going to be burner inserters. Uh, and then here. Actually, not there. Here is going to be programmable speakers, which maybe works. Uh, how do we get? Oh, yeah, we get the. Do we get a pipes by a direct feed? We get this also with just a double long-handed inserter thing, which is fine. You don't need gear wheels, so that's also fine. And then. A uh, couple of couple of boxes. We're gonna need a couple of boxes. Okay, have a bunch of belt. Uh, the injured belt is, is not gonna work. If we have a lot of injured belt, that would work. Otherwise, not so much. And then we have. Uh, do we need this to go? Yeah, we need this to go the other way around, don't we? Uh, can we just offset this? I think we just offset this. Wait, but then what do we need? Oh yeah, we needed the. Oh, hey, here's the belt that we were going to have ammunition and wall on. Um, so that... I mean, this still needs to go here. So here's our belt with ammunition and wall. That worked out surprisingly well for some kind of awful definitions of surprising. Shouldn't we... Shouldn't they be on the grid? I thought that only... Okay, so you can also have, you can get Solaris if you have solar panels on the same grid, as long as no other steam engines are making power or something, apparently. This is another really nice little cutoff. All these guys are going to want to disappear as soon as we get rid of um, the bases. Are we doing tech at a decent rate? We are. I kind of also wanted to automate prod mods today, but I guess we're not doing that either. Um, where is my... I should have underground belt. I should have underground belt... Because it goes into the solar panels, because that's a normal thing to happen. Um, over here, give me, give me a bunch of underground belt. Yeah, the solar panels we did back off the boxes a bit, but we still do want to throw more, more solar panels in more places. Uh, how are we doing? Yeah, at some point we're going to figure out what we want to do with that. And we apparently just need more inserters. Um, can we? Can we, instead of getting... Oh, you also needed... Okay, fine. We're going to do this with a nasty hack as well. Because we've got, you know, a pile of flamethrower fuel. It's fine. Uh, we do want more inserters. Uh, which also need... like so. So now we can have an additional machine making inserters. We don't need as much red ammo because we're going to be pushing with landmines, but we've got another machine making inserters that will contribute more inserters to the steam engine build that doesn't need... Oh no, that wasn't for coal. That was for the... Yeah, the long... The, the red ammo. Um, yeah, sure. Cool. Fine. Great. Whatever. Uh, you guys keep building stuff. I've got... Yeah, let's just turn all these pistols into walls. Reasons that it's kind of annoying to be picking up pistols. And bring the these underground belts back because the thing we really wanted to make was um, programmable speakers that's what we really wanted kind of um, this is going to go over here because what we really wanted uh, was 
Yeah, we did. I don't. Do we even care about programmable speakers? I don't think I care about programmable speakers at all. In which case, this can get to stay here, and this can also. Yeah, have the box with all of the belt is going to be the plan we're going to do, like so, and then also here can be cliff explosives. In a disastrous hack of a mess, um, but whatever. And I don't think we limit bother limiting that box because we are not concerned about that at all. Uh, wait, we were going to get... It's fine. We we turned all of. Uh, give me one of these back. Um, with that piece of belt, you will be able to get the. Yeah. So now you've got the repair packs, and okay, actually, give me the repair packs, and we've got everything we want. It all it all works. Things things are fine. We have automated. Uh, we have automated cliff explosives. Very exciting. Yeah, we're not going to bother limiting this box because then the amount we make is limited by that chest of belt, which is hand fed. Do we have more belt down here? No, we've got a bunch of useful stuff. Let's try not to forget that. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, so we've also, we can, we're still just not making this stuff very fast. Why not? Is it still just inserters? Yeah, you guys are just limited by the amount of iron you can get in. Which is, you know, oh well, that's still running, it's fine, things are okay. Do we have miners down here that are running that don't have these efficiency modules? Yes, okay. Um, all of this mining can get more efficient as well. Yeah, we're going to do a little more of that between episodes probably. Um, what even is the thing that we want to do now? That, does this wall need maintenance? I think this, yeah, so they're definitely, yeah, this is, they're chewing through this wall, um, but it's, this spot is not fine, there's, there's one piece of wall that's also taking damage to protecting it, so let's just go down there and address that quickly. And then also fix up these, yeah, fix up these awful bits of rail, do I have rail? I have enough rail, um, so we can actually have our rail line go all the way around the base, that will be a thing we will be happy about as well. Oh yeah, several places just needed a bunch more wall. There we go, we added some more wall, we dodged some spit, I think we took some spit there that the wall didn't, so that's nice. And yeah, still, are we, are we kicking through this science at the roughly 900 we want? Yeah, more or less, we're doing 800, are we lab limited? We are lab limited. Um, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. So that's just what we're doing. That's just us kicking through the stuff. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do the things that I said that I would. We're going to kick through these kick through these cliffs, um, tidy up this rail a bit, do a bit of wall maintenance, um, and then maybe think about something else to automate. Um, so yeah, so a couple of entertaining things. Uh, we are now in a position where, actually we can do this from the train, uh, we can drive to any of the spaces on the map because, okay, except for that section, oh well. Uh, but we have connected up a lot of rail so that we can go to the various places we need to. And then, yeah, things we learned from the Solaris um, achievement and me noticing that a variety of these inserters were kind of unhappy for power grid, actually. These mostly should be... Mm, yeah, we need to upgrade those for speed as well, is that um, the, there is actually a, a severing of our power grid, which is a little bit of a concern. This this over here of these solar panels is actually a different grid at the moment to these solar panels. Um, you can follow the, this line up and see that there used to be a power connection maybe in here somewhere that was cut, but now isn't. Um, over here, this solar on this side no longer, yeah, it would have been when they killed this stuff, wouldn't it? This, there would have used to have been a power connection in there. Um, but more of the solar, all of this section of the base, um, doesn't, yeah, there's a, there's a power connection that we deleted here when we redid these underground belts. And then this coal mining, which we also put back this episode, all of it's powered, but on two different grids. I wonder if this first grid is okay. Both of the grids 
are okay because we've got a ton of solar panels in various places but we do need to kind of go and fix those somehow where should we fix it let's go and fix it by let's fix it in multiple places um like one of the things that we did is we also dragged some power around the outside of this wall oh we should have taken these guys radars oh well uh, but we've got a couple of radars down here at the moment just to scan out what else is over here in this other kind of unfamiliar bit of is this we're not even polluting that yet who knows where we're, where the, the inconvenient inconvenient attacks are coming from but we've got like power grid redundancy except for the thing where we noticed that the grids don't connect at all so let's just go and fix those um and then yeah i noticed another thing that we might go and fix kind of quickly that's that's now got yeah four four thousand solar panels on the grid that's the number of solar panels we expected um let's head back to this mall because i did also notice that despite saying belts were nowhere near where we were trying to make these loudspeakers um you might notice that in fact belts are on a place near where we're trying to make these loudspeakers so i think like we could even just run a belt of belts through here connected to the inside of this belt and fully automate all of this stuff which is a little bit silly because we've just put a bunch of extra belt here but never mind and um, did we have is this the mall where fast inserters are it is good um, because there's a couple of other things we want to do in relation to mining as well basically oh yeah we want some of this belt don't we we want to take some of this belt um we want the fast inserters fast and so it is all why are you not getting because stone furnaces oh because we hand feed stone furnaces that's continued silliness oh well just have all the stone furnaces um do we even want yeah we do because we need them for the fast and so it is um let's remember that oh no we could just take can we just take this belt because we're moving undergrounds as well am i okay with that uh, if we moved this power pole to somewhere else, but it would need to also upgrade, we can do... Some disaster like this. Does it need to go up one? I think it might need to go up one. But that's fine, because we could do that. Hey, we've, we've fully automated everything we need for programmable speakers. So that's exciting. Um, yeah, then we wanted to get more trains to deliver iron ore and also upgrade... Upgrade the inserters with which we are trying to put things on wagons. Because we've got two stations... Two stations over here that are currently not on radar. Oh, well. How big are these attacks and are they scary? No. Cool. Um, but we could have other train stations with the other trains in my inventory and um, so that's going to be a thing that's not going to be super interesting to be honest it's going to be an exact copy of this is it it is isn't it it's going to be a thing i probably do between episodes just to get that running um i think we're probably at episode length let's talk about tech as the last thing that we do i mean I guess the, yeah, we're still working on the concrete because we want to be able to get towards the landmines of which we have, you know, we have, I'm pretty sure we have medium poles automated somewhere. Um, we're, oh yeah, but they also, something is hand fed, which is a problem because we need to automate these better grenades. Grenades are made from iron ore and iron plate. So I think we should, especially if we grab this iron plate, I think we should endeavor to figure out a way to, let's go and do that now, in fact, um, endeavor a way to be able to automate grenades over here, to be able to feed to the medium electric poles, to be able to feed into, we get multiple, yeah, we get multiple landmines per medium power pole, so that's good. Um, yeah, I've got just like another train station to build between episodes at this point, that's fine. Um, do we have... 
Why do we not have splitters? We have a belt of splitters here somewhere because they're going into the... Oh, I've got... Yeah, we picked up a bunch of pistols again. Um, yeah, I've got... These, these splitters. I wanted these splitters because I saw this spot and concluded that here we could run a belt of iron ore out. And then here we could have another splitter. Uh, that's going to have to turn, I guess. And then we can take this underground. And that lines up really well, as it turns out. And we're kind of building over the top of the grid we gave us for the science. Oh, well. Let's leave a bit of space here so that we can have these coming out as well. And then we don't have tier 2 assemblers at the moment, never mind. Uh, I think this is... I think this is a layout I'm pretty happy with. We can have more grenades here. More grenades always going to be good. And then we can go... Double insert and then outsert. Yeah, we are not going to be able to have... All that many. Because we've only got a belt of stuff. But now we have grenades and medium power poles on a belt for which I have forgotten why we needed that. Was it landmines? Why were we automating grenade? Oh, we were, no, that's, that's not what we, want, what we wanted at all, was it? We wanted grenades on a belt so we could aut yeah, these go into the medium poles. Of course they do. Okay, um, in that case we still want a belt that puts... Yeah, we still want a belt that puts the medium poles somewhere else. But we then also want that each of those guys get an outsert. Yes, a belt running this way that can... Yeah, worry about how we power these things now because we've made that a little bit of a mess. But also we can just jump this underneath and claim that things are mostly fine. Okay, doesn't doesn't quite power all of them. This is worse, but will power all of them. Okay, so now we have... Let's do that differently as well. All things being done differently. Sure, of course they are. Um, yeah, two, two stacks of grenades here. And um, we've now fully automated. We Have we fully automated? Yes. Grenades were what you guys needed. And then repair packs is fine. Repair packs needing more pipe. You guys are just running at the rate of stuff. So the pipe is going to be a limit here because we need it for the repair packs, which we, we also need for the medium power poles. We need it for the burner inserters. Um, we need these things for cliff explosives and also for landmines. Um, we got another box of grenades in case we need a box of grenades for anything. And then we've got... Did you have... And then... Yeah, things I don't want in my inventory. Uh, we've got a, a belt of of power poles and then we needed the concrete yeah and then other things are more or less fully automated okay so we are 50 percent of the way through the concrete let's look at how the concrete is automated it's also iron ore and also pistols and we already had a belt of pistols over here for hilarious convenient reasons um, and we also have a belt of iron ore that we just were looking at just over here for hilarious convenient reasons um, so oh we're not going to be able to look at we can't look at the recipe there anyway because the recipe is over here um, a pistol every 15 seconds that's not very much and I like it whereas yeah, let's make sure you can get, get stuff whereas this is one concrete every 2.5 seconds we're only going to need one machine on concrete and we're going to get a lot of landmines out of it because um yeah concrete is 
10 every 15 seconds if we wanted to push concrete that hard with multiple assemblers and then the landmines the 10 and 15 seconds will convert to 40 landmines in 15 seconds because we're going to be limited by the other one. Oh well um yeah i think we worry about that later i think this is a good time to call an episode did we get much done we kind of oh yeah there's still the power grid that's only connected over here oh well but we've got like another flame bunker we've got a bit more radar we've pushed through tech uh the 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 pollution cloud is still definitely doing pollution cloud things uh we do have a rail now we've got a couple more things automated we've got the cliff explosives yeah i've got i've got a train station to build here I've got some more iron to put on trains here. We've got to upgrade some inserters. We can be putting multiple things on these trains. In fact, this belt here can get some iron as well. Maybe we start tapping this one. Um, and then, yeah, tech plans before we conclude the episode. Concrete is the next thing we want to be able to get landmines. Landmines going to be able to do a bunch of good things, but then we want to invest a bit more. We are still lab research limited. So rather than build labs, we're going to make them faster. Um, we do want to get productivity modules into a lot of things. We're not going to look at how to make them now we're just going to struggle with that later then i think we want the other lab research speed and then probably blue science even though i mean there's a lot of good stuff left there's modular armor there's the car there's mining productivity is going to be big um the other thing which we haven't checked yet and won't even check until the research oh no wait we have checked that we know that we don't need any more recipes so that's fine. Uh, prod mods, however, we don't know how to make them yet and could find out, but we're not going to. And yeah, there's, there's going to be a bit more stuff to pot around with between the episodes. I did want to check just in in the last 10 hours. Yeah, we have... Is this the... Yeah, this is the boiler pollution, which we have cut a lot because the power grid has gone down because we've actually only been moduling... We've actually only been moduling the mining drills um but the mining drills taking out their power usage has also saved the boilers a whole lot of work and then also yeah from needing the boilers a lot to having a lot of solar panels and barely needing the boilers at all a lot of m pollution coming out of the, le the electric mining drills as well so pollution absorbed by damaging trees yeah the 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 spawner absorption pollution is falling and then also tile and tree pollution is falling which would suggest that this might be at equilibrium which would be strange um but yeah we're, we're gonna later want to cut this off with some more walls maybe even cut this off here don't know what this is doing it's a mess um maybe through here as well but the other thing i'm looking at which is going to be more of an issue stepping forwards is we already have quite a lot of mining on a lot of the accessible patches and we've got we've got this stuff we've got this stuff as well um but we're probably going to need all of it because this is just our usage for red and green science and a bit of military a bit of military science um but we are going to need to scale up to blue science and then scale up to purple and yellow science and that means we probably need to use the landmines to secure even more of these patches. But we also don't know what blue science needs yet. So yeah, this might be a little bit of a holding pattern episode where we kind of get through some text and figure out what we're doing. Um, maybe maybe next time we next time we should be able to automate some landmines. Um, should be able to maybe think about what's going into blue science. Yeah, um, you know, twenty three hours. 23 and a bit hours through probably starting to think about blue science tech multipliers are off 